thank you for introduction. Good morning. I'm going to introduce a uh, uh, reconstruction uh, technique for accelerated NCMI, uh, which can improve your contraction accuracy and uh, background suppression. As we know, uh, non-contrasting hands MRI can avoid the injection of gadolinium contrast agent has, has drawn increasing attention recently. Uh, subjective NCMI is a type of techniques that generate angiogram by subtracting dark, artery, dark blood uh, images from bright blood images. Uh, typical techniques include fresh blood imaging and uh, uh, photosensitive defacing, and of course ASL. Uh, however, NCMRA has a long acquisition time, especially for subjective NCMRA, which has two acquisitions. So the, the long acquisition time makes it not only time consuming, but also sensitive to motion. Uh, we can use some acceleration techniques to reduce the scan time. Uh, in this study, we combined compressing scene parallel imaging and the partial foil sampling together and designed a reconstruction method for subjective NCMRA. Actually, there are two strategies. One is to reconstruct bright blood data and dark blood data re, uh, respectively and uh, to subtraction in image space. Uh, the other strategy is to do subtraction in case space first and then reconstruct the subject data. Doing case space subtraction can e exploit the sparsity of the subjected data and uh, can potentially improve the performance. So we adopted this uh, strategy. Uh, the right image shows an example map of uh, femoral FBI using case-based subtraction. It looks good, but there is some residual background tissue and uh, venous contamination. In our previous uh, study, we proposed a method to uh, remove the background tissue. I won't go into the details of it, but uh, basically it, what it does is to do a linear regression to acquire the weighting factor and do a weighted subtraction. If we apply this in case-based subtracted, uh, case-based subtraction and contraction, we can potentially uh, not only remove the background tissue, but also increase the sparsity of the data, which is very important for CS and uh, uh, para-imaging reconstruction. So uh, if we, however, if we apply, uh, we, we use a weighted subtraction in case-based subtraction reconstruction, uh, it generated a kind of artifacts which uh, it's caused by the polarity reversal of the negative values produced in case-based subtraction. Uh, for example, the muscle signal will become negative after subtraction and uh, will lose the polarity and uh, become artifacts. Uh, so these kind of artifacts can obscure some small vessels. Actually, uh, we can restore the polarity if we can have a reference image uh, with background face information. Uh, which is, this is what we call face sensitive, sensitive detection in some IR uh, pulse sequences. Uh, luckily, for subtractive NCMRA, we can acquire the background face reference uh, exactly from the bright blood data. So we uh, use it. We use it to reconstruct the reference and crack the face and remove artifacts. So we, uh, if we compare the red image from the pre previous one or do it manually, you can see the improvement. Uh, this is a whole reconstruction process. Um, firstly, we do a very quick CS reconstruction, which costs only three seconds, to acquire the uh, weighting factor and then do a full CS reconstruction, uh, which costs about one minute. Uh, here are some more technical details. We use the split, split Bregman algorithm. Uh, its advantage is that it converges very quickly. So we only use one iteration for fast CS reconstruction and nine iterations for full CS reconstruction, and we uh, did both uh, retrospective simulations and the prospective acquisitions uh, on 11 healthy subjects. We used uh, femoral IBI sequence, and uh, the retrospective simulations are based on six fully sampled data sets, and uh, we acquired 11 groups of prospectively accelerated data sets uh, under, the, under the accuracy factor from 10 times to 25 times. Here is the retrospective uh, simulation uh, results. Uh, by comparing the accelerated image, images with the fully sampled images, we can evaluate the uh, different reconstruction methods on the different acceleration factors. 
uh, the right figures shows the uh, quantitative results. The red lines, is, uh, red lines are our proposed case pick method. And the blue lines and the green lines are uh, conventional case-based subtraction and magnitude subtraction uh, methods. We can see that uh, case pick has the highest correlation coefficients and the uh, lowest normalized mean square error, especially when the acceleration factor is very large. Uh, here's an example of uh, prospective accelerated imaging. Left image is accelerated by clinical routine uh, using para-imaging and partial Fourier sampling. It was ac also accelerated for 6.5 times. Uh, the right image, is, uh, image was accelerated by our new method uh, for uh, by 15 times. Uh, we can hardly tell much difference uh, between the two images, but the acquisition time is greatly reduced. Uh, we can further increase the, uh, the acceleration factor up to 25 times. Uh, so in this case, it only cost about uh, 100 seconds. The, so uh, at this high acceleration uh, on the magnitude subtraction image, you can see a lot of uh, noise and uh, artifacts uh, and residual background tissue. Uh, the case based subtraction uh, image is uh, less noisy, but there are some, some small vessels missing and the background is not uh, completely dark. Uh, KISPIC has the best performance with very good visualization of small vessels and large vessels and uh, good image quality. Um, we also thought about not only use the technique to reduce the, the scan time, but also uh, increase the, the resolution, so improve the image quality. So in this case, we try to increase the resolution and keep the scan time uh, in, the, in an acceptable, acceptable time. Uh, so for the left image, it, uh, it uses the metric size of 256, and the right image uh, has, a, has the metric size of 448 and the uh, resolution uh, less than one millimeter per pixel. Uh, we can see that the right image, the high resolution image, has a uh, much better visualization of small vessels, and uh, some vessels cannot be seen on, on the low resolution image. Uh, in conclusion, we propose a reconstruction method for highly accelerated subtractive NCMRA. Uh, it is based on complex subtraction in case space. And compared with uh, uh, com conventional methods, it improves the reconstruction in terms of accuracy, uh, background tissue suppression, and uh, image quality. And in the future, we will, uh, we will do patient examinations and uh, formal assessment of diagnostic performance. And uh, we also try to apply it in some other subjective uh, techniques uh, like FSD and uh, ASL and uh, even CEMRE. Uh, thank you for your attention.